Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about raw netting. Raw netting is just like uh, fabric that you would get from a fabric store. Um, what's different about us is that we have really, really big netting, um, where a fabric store might sell you fabric in 60 inch wide bolts. Ours are as wide as 12 foot. So conceivably you can get a raw netting piece that's 12 feet by an entire football field. Um, so it's really, really big. It's it's 100% polyester. It's uh, California fire rated, solution dyed, so it won't fade. Now, the difference between raw netting is, you know, raw netting is just, again, it's just like a fabric, as opposed to our fabricated solutions. On our fabricated solutions, which is elsewhere on the website, um, what we do is we custom cut some shape to the inch, slopes, notches, whatever you need. And then there's a doubled over seat belt that we double stitch around the entire perimeter of the, the curtain. And that's the difference between um, fabricated solutions and raw netting. Not all netting is created equal. So if raw netting is what you want, this is a competing product you may have seen in the marketplace. I don't, I don't wanna talk about who they are. Uh, well, first of all, let me show you this. I got two fingernails here. This one's kind of rounded. This one's got a point. So I'm gonna use my rounded fingernail. I'm gonna go right through it, okay? There's another product out there used for uh, projection screens. Same thing, rounded fingernail, goes right through it. So not all netting is created equal. As opposed to our product here, right? Sharp fingernail. Can't get through it, okay? And we have even stronger stuff, right? We have different mesh types. Here's a drill bit. I can get it through, but it's not gonna be easy. There it goes, all right? And then we have different mesh types. We have noceum mesh. It's a very, very small holes. It's designed to keep out a little tiny biting fly called uh, noceums. It's also been used for other applications. Uh, sniper hides for special forces uh, use this a lot. Uh, we get a lot of orders for that. Um, we've even had this used to uh, separate baby eels from adult eels who like to eat baby eels. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff. If you think about what our netting is, we're kind of in the filter business, filtering adult eels away from uh, baby eels, or it's an optical filter, things like that. So you can think of it in those terms. We have a white version of this noceum mesh. And these look like, this looks like a black shear material and this looks like a white shear material. Now the photo that you're looking at now is uh, us taking, which is, this is our weakest netting, still good stuff, right? But this is our weakest netting. And you can see this photo of us lifting up a 240 pound man. Um, this is our heavy mesh, right? This is more in a grid shape. And that's the, uh, the black curtain that you saw, sharp fingernail and all that stuff. That was done with this mesh in this color, the black that you've already seen. We also have an ivory. Ivory is uh, sometimes white's just a little too white and people want ivory. This is our black shade mesh. This is the material I was trying to put this through. This is a white version of that shade mesh. And uh, we use this for projection screens, outdoor projection screens. So you can get yourself a $600 projector, buy yourself a $200 screen, you'd be watching 10 foot tall by 18 foot wide movies out in your backyard. And we're always experimenting. So we're playing around with this color here. This is a cocoa brown. We're not sure we're gonna keep it or continue it or not. It depends on the demand. So we are all about quality. So look, I get it, you don't know me. And uh, you don't know if what I'm, you know, you look at different companies online, they all look the same. They're not, they are not all the same. Not all netting is created equal. And if you want us to send you out samples, we'll be happy to send you out samples. Just give us a call. Uh, we'll help you with rigging ideas. So if you're, you've got some personal project you're, you're trying to do, like cover a garden or you decide you wanna uh, create a driving range in your backyard by taking a big piece of netting and hoisting it between two trees and driving golf balls. Whatever your
problem is or whatever you're trying to accomplish, keeping leaves out of a swimming pool, whatever it is, uh, call us and we'll give you some rigging ideas. Uh, but what we want to leave you with is this is good, good stuff. If I knew how to make it any better, I'd already be doing it. In fact, in a lot of these meshes, I've gone through uh, some of them up to 12 iterations to kind of change that cocktail to get it just right. Um, you know, one last thing I want to tell you is even with our raw netting, you cannot, uh, the, uh, a cut edge will not unravel, right? Everything is lock stitched. On a lot of nettings, what they do is that when a row thread passes a column thread, they just go over, over, uh, over, under, over, under, and then they heat stamp it. On this mesh here, every time a row thread passes a column thread, at every intersection, it gets knitted to that thread, and that's why it doesn't unravel when it's cut. Yeah? This is just good stuff, and we want you to have it. Thanks. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about the fasteners that we have available to you. Some of these fasteners we use for our fabricated solutions. Remember, there's a difference between raw netting, which is just simply fabric, and you're pretty much on your own to do whatever you want to do, and then our fabricated solutions or our mosquito curtains where we cut everything to the inch and, and uh, bind everything and basically take care of everything for you. But while you're here on the uh, raw netting section of the website, uh, I do want to show you a couple things. Now, everything you see here that's either black or white, we have black and white of just about everything. So, um, and one example is like the webbing. We have this white webbing, and it's like a seatbelt material. And how it's often used is you fold it in half like a taco around the netting. We double stitch it. Um, and you can, you can stitch it. Sometimes that's useful for some people. If you're trying to replicate our curtains, it is hard. It's really hard because a lot of our, our, our sewing machines have double stitches and everything has a, a space just right to hold everything. And also, um, some people buy raw netting and think that they can, uh, and buy the tracking and think that they can make a curtain. Now, we have a special snap tape that you need. We don't show this on the website because we, wanna, we don't want to confuse people, but if you need it, we'll be happy to sell it to you. Um, but this is a requirement at the top of the curtain, and it's not on the raw netting. It's not, you, you can't buy this separately anywhere on the website, but just call us. We'll take care of you. Now, we love people that do it themselves. That's how we started. That's how we came up with the product. We started with raw netting. So whatever you're doing, uh, God bless you. Go for it. We love, love, love the creativity. Um, sometimes uh, raw netting is a better solution. I'll give you a really good example. We had a winery that needed to cover a vat because the fruit flies were getting into the wine. And they wanted something all fancy and fabricated. And, this, and I said, hey, forget about it. I got a $55 solution for you. Uh, the vats are about six, eight feet in diameter. Some of them are round, some of them are square. And what I said was just take a piece of raw netting, throw it over the vat, and then take a giant rubber band and put it around it and pinch it in place. And when you want to take it off, just take it off, throw it in the washing machine, but you don't need a fabricated solution for something like that. Um, so what we did is we have some elastic cord and we said, look, you can make your own bungee cord. We'll make you a giant rubber band. There's a collar. It goes on and it's just make your own bungee cord. Close this up, now you got a bungee cord. So that might be useful for you. Uh, sometimes you can uh, pinch the curtain to something. And by the way, if you need ideas, we're happy to give you ideas. Uh, we love, love, love creativity. Um, something else is we have very, very powerful magnets. We had a, a fellow that wanted to do an air conditioning unit, which is huge. I mean, it's eight feet, uh, seven feet tall, 40 feet wide. It's like a, the size of a container up on top of a rooftop. And again, he said, look, I don't need anything fancy. Nobody's going to see it. I'm just trying to keep cottonwoods from clogging up my filters. So we gave him some magnets. And they're not ordinary magnets, right? These are rare earth magnets. I'm going to stick it to the bottom of these scissors. 
two and a half pound sledgehammer. And you can hold up that sledgehammer. Not <laughs> with limitations, but you get the idea. All right. So very, very powerful magnets that they would just pinch against the air handler. We also have marine snaps. And this is worth a demonstration. A marine snap, you've seen these before. There's a button and a socket and a mail snap. And the mail snap can either be on a screw stud, right? We have some adhesive back marine snaps that will stick to things like uh, vinyl or metal, uh, not wood. Uh, you want this, these for wood, but um, those will do that. So let's talk about putting a marine snap into raw netting. Unlike our fabricated solutions, where we have a doubled over binding everywhere that's double stitched, if you're going to put a marine snap into raw netting, you kind of need a little extra help. You need a little reinforcement because we don't want these things to rip out. Um, so what we have, we'll give you these disc, rubber disc washers. And they're just rubber. And they're flexible, right? So they're not going to poke into the netting. But what it's going to do is it's going to distribute the load. Now, in order to place uh, marine snaps on raw netting, you must have this $130 snap tool. But we know you're only going to do it once in your life, so we made it fully refundable. Just use the tool, send it back, we'll give you the $130 back. Now let me show you how it works. I'm going to take my female socket, I'm going to take my button, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to crunch through both these rubber discs and uh, through the netting and through it all. So I'm just going to crunch it right on there. There's a little adjustment knob, and there we go. Now, you still want to be careful, right? So when you pull it off, you want to pull it off by the rubber, and you don't want to rip it out. But it's less likely to rip out because you've distributed the load uh, over a, a broader surface area. One other great technique that doesn't really involve us at all, this is just a handy little idea. And, we, and this comes up more often than you would imagine. Sometimes. Uh, for example, we have people, a lot of boaters, uh, what we do is we make a big sheet and we just throw it over the bimini. And what they want to do is they want to secure it. Uh, so in the corners, what we tell them to do is take an ordinary golf ball, right? Drape the netting over a golf ball, like over one of the corners, like this, right? Just like that. Take, an, or, take a slip knot, just the, tie a slip knot around this and pull. It's an old Boy Scout trick and it's a way to pull on fabric without stressing it and ripping it out. So you could take that line and you could pull the kingdom come and uh, it won't rip out. So it's a really handy technique. It's great for camping. Uh, so we like the idea that you're coming up with your own solution. Maybe a fabricated solution that we also make uh, where we do everything for you and figure everything out. Uh, maybe it's just not the right solution for you. We'll, we'll be happy to tell you. We're all about saving clients money and giving them the appropriate solution. And if we can't come up with the right solution, but we know someone that can, we will happily direct you. We want to be known as the place you can go to and get a good, straight answer. So that's it. Thanks.